What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel Lex Express checking in with our first impression. I'm saying R because we got my boy Trout. Let's go. Yo, what's up? So we're going to be talking about uh, WWE 2K22, man. We're not going to give a full review just yet. We're going to wait a couple days to give you guys a more knowledgeable, more experienced review where we can actually... A lot more of the moves. Uh, exactly and and spend enough time to actually give you a reasonable score not that i'm hyped or that i saw this little thing and that and i'm like nah no i don't want to give you guys a, a false score so this first impression video it's just going to be us talking you know about what we like what we might not like and if we see ourselves playing this game going forward so trout first things first man how have you been enjoying wwe 2k22 so far let him know well, I've been enjoying it. Like, well, I've only played GM mode so far. I, I want to dabble in universe and other modes, but I've been really enjoying GM mode. Yeah, it's kind of limited or whatever. You see, but, uh, you favorite, see, guys. My favorite, part, my favorite part is spectating matches. <laughs> Look at that trout. Let me let me stop you on your tracks right there. That's exactly <laughs> what I con continuously tell people on stream. Like, bro, there is something for everyone here. If you may, if you may not like GM mode, or you may think it's too bare bones for you to enjoy anything f about it, but there's someone out there like Trout or myself that may jump in there and just, you know, casually chill, go into spectator mode, or or just start yeah. over and over and over and just keep having fun with it our I, way. I love the whole drafting. That's my favorite part. Is drafting. The draft, yes. And then spectating is my second favorite part. I've watched about all. Yeah, the that. Matches. <laughs> yeah, that's that's something funny to do. I was doing it on stream, and I think it was do Zenzi or whatever. He's like, "Oh man, you definitely don't know how to play GM mode if you're gonna be spectating matches." I'm like, "Wait, what? Like, guys, you could play yeah, this it makes game hard." Like you're watching a, the real show. Exactly, and, <laughs> and you just approach the game however you want. And then there's a, another whole group of people that are trying to justify why they don't want to buy the game, but they'll probably end up buying it anyways. I'm just like. Uh, it gets tiring after a while. You're there streaming for a couple hours, and you get the same repetitive <laughs> type of people saying all these negative things. And then there's the happy-go-lucky the people, the Debbie Downers. <laughs> and then you got the happy-go-lucky people, and you got to be like, guys, you know, hold on, relax. We, you know, I can't give you a score just yet because what have we really done? Gone through the menus. We've we've kind of gotten our our feet wet and tapped into some of these molds, but we haven't gone deep, deep, deep. You know that. These games that are like sports titles, like, you know, NBA, MLB, Madden, and now WWE with their new release. It's one of those things that time will tell, right? You could predict, yep. but time will tell how good this game will to uh, honestly totally end up being. And How much longevity it has. I, exactly. Replayability. And... um. It is what it is, guys. So I think the roster is actually pretty darn good, and they gave us mm -hmm. enough features like, you know, new uh, renders, right? You get to yeah. put whatever picture for your created star to make it look even more authentic. So you could put in people from AEW, Ring of Honor. You know, I know Ring of Honor went out of business. Making and they it real as can be. Exactly. You know? New Japan. You could bring in anyone from any company or even some free agents that you might miss. So I think like that <laughs> <laughs> that's that's going to be one of the most downloadable uh, guys out there. So sure. I've had a blast. I've also, you know, done a couple matches. I've played Showcase, My GM, My Rise, Universe, Superstar, and Online, and even some Exhibition. And every time that I've stepped foot in the ring, I can honestly tell you guys that I've had a blast. I've had a blast with the game. You know, yesterday I did such a crazy, like, what was it? It was like 15 hours total that we were live streaming. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have been able to have done that if the game was trash. So that's, that's basically, you know, the answer. Is the game worth playing or not? Is it worth picking up? You tell me. I already got over 15 hours of playing time on it, and oh, I've been playing it off stream. <laughs> oh hell yeah <laughs> and by the way guys i don't know if you've noticed but uh i'm actually in front of myself right there look at me <laughs> that's from the stream <laughs> i'm using footage from the stream right there look at me right there all tired and exhausted but um <laughs> i'll tell you what man i it's it's a good game 
It's a good game. You know why, guys? This is why. I agree. When you combine all the modes together, I know my GM is thin. I know Showcase is thin. I understand that. I, I'm not going to run away from the truth. The truth is, it's a bit bare bones. It, and that's an understatement. There, There's key features that at least my GM should have had. It is what it is. We're not going to change that now. How can we have fun with this game? Find your lane. Find what you enjoy most. Whether that be, may be my rise and all the different personas they have on there. Or if that's on universe or superstar mode, you know, find your lane and online. online. Uh, exactly. Online as well. That's what I was going to get to now. I had a match online with uh, my boy WWE Attires, and he's all the way in the UK. I'm in the US. Mm -hmm. And the lag was like almost non existent. At first, I was a little hesitant because I was like, man, it feels like there's a little delay. But once I got used to playing online, just like every other game that I that you play online, there's always like a little, you know, latency to it. Once you get used to that latency, it felt like you were playing against a computer. And, you know, that that's a good sign, at least for day one, right? Because usually day yeah. one servers are trash and, you know, we already had issues with but the server. There for a little bit when that's what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when it, when it launched for everyone that they were able to jump on at the same time, it obviously got overwhelmed and overcrowded. That's, that was, that's every game, though. Every game. That was expected. But, you know, beyond those uh, minor issues uh, with, with the server at launch, I think the game has been a blast, man. The graphics that this game offers, like, look at Roman Reigns right here coming out. Oh, my goodness, man. Like, I took so many screenshots off stream. Uh, just for fun, and I changed my profile picture and everything with in-game graphics because I just feel like this is literally on a whole other level and honestly hitting different. When you combine the visuals, because there's a lot of people out there that are saying, oh, the visuals don't really matter to me. And I know, I know there's a lot of you guys out there that say that. Mm -hmm. But when you combine the level of fidelity that this game offers with the, the, the fun and exciting gameplay that it has the combos are not as hard or as intimidating as we we thought it was at least i didn't yeah. think it i didn't think it was difficult at all to get used to it the grapple system yeah you can't do chain grappling did you guys really always do chain grappling i'm not really the chain grappling type but i mean maybe you know to each his own so i'll 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 leave that buried somewhere. I'm not even going to get into that. It's a whole other can of worms because I know people were complaining about that and advanced entrance creations. And those things weren't, uh, you know, molds or features that I really cared for too much. And I don't want to, like, just act like it, it wasn't there before. If it was there before and they took it out because it caused glitches, then I'm all for it, you know? I'm sure they have a good reason to take it out. Exactly. Uh, it's just logical reasoning. So smart decisions, smart decision making, because these WWE games were known for being super overstuffed and loaded with, you know, awesome content. But some of that awesome content was causing clipping for the app to crash for, for the graphics to have, you know, bugs and glitches that were ruining the experience of the game. And you know what? I'm, I'm loving it guys. I, I really truly am. Uh, obviously, I was super optimistic uh, with this game, even though they hit me with the, you know, with the my GM ringside report. Oh, this is when Zachary subscribed. They hit me with the uh, with the ringside report, and and look at the belt. Hold on, let me pause that right there. Look at the title. That shit looks crazy, <laughs> crazy, crazy. It does. In the pandemic arena, like we could put the the you know the LED boards for the fans. So I feel like there's enough customization. Like when I was creating my character, I was going nuts. Like I couldn't. Oh, yeah, for your my rise. Yeah, my yeah for for my rise exactly. I was like, what in the world? Like there was just so much going on when I started playing my rise. It took me forever just to get my character going. And after I I found my groove, I'm like, oh man, like we're we're coming along just fine, right? Uh, someone on stream said that my guy looked like one of the Viking Raiders mixed in with like Rusev <laughs> and shit, which I thought was hilarious. Yeah, it but reminded me of Rusev a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I like it. I like it. And that's the level of customization that we're accustomed to when it comes to these WWE games. 
And then, you know, again, you combine that with the gameplay and the, the overall visuals of the game. Guys, I come from an era where we had like five modes. Like we didn't really have much to 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 go by. And I know that they 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 have kind of like spoiled us. So we feel like this is bare bones. But man, I can't say that this is bare bones because to me it's not. Honestly. Yeah. Do you feel like this game is bare bones? No, no, no. no. I don't think so at all. I think it gives you a lot of options you can do or Yeah, there's there's a lot enjoy. of options. You know, the 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 only thing I seen was a little uh low, you know, as in content where it was the GM, but Yeah. Hey, it's fun it's been fun for me, so Yeah, yeah. For me too, for me you too. Know. Another thing I could honestly say is that when I was playing Showcase, the first match, bro, it took me like, I don't know, like 25 minutes to do. With, <laughs> yep, with, yep. And I was blown away. I was like, oh, shit. Like, this is crazy. Like, the Showcase is legit. I thought that they were doing some little sucker move by putting the, the cutscenes from real life. But having Rey Mysterio narrate it and kind of give us an inside look was so fun. And yeah. I, I had a blast. Now, I got copywritten for it, but <laughs> I still had a blast playing it. And I just, I'm so annoyed, guys. I have to address it in my first impression video. Um, so there's a bunch of reports now coming out that WWE kind of went ahead and talked to EA to see <laughs> about, like, switching from 2K to them. And it's not that I love 2K so much that I want to defend them, but... Let's just be honest. EA is is going to make their mistakes as well because nobody just, is perfect. Just imagine how worse yes. microtransactions would be. Oh, yeah. That's it's what they're infamously thing. known for. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I Both don't know. I don't, are known for that, but, but, yeah, but EA takes Madden, a cake. To me, my opinion, Madden's worse. Than no, bro. EA managed to add microtransaction to Star Wars and even Need for Speed. Like, what? Yep. So here we got a little uh a little quick clip of the the tutorial which I highly recommend you guys go do. Definitely go do the tutorial because um mm -hmm. it's necessary for sure for sure. Now someone also went back and forth with me telling me on stream that they felt the game looked very arcadey just because I was playing fast paced. And that the game felt like it, it, it kind of went away from the simulation style. And I got to disagree, guys. I feel like this game has the base of a, of a wrestling simulator with lots of arcadey features and animations that, you know, kind of, you know, represent what it once was and what it's trying to be now, which is this like dynamic wrestling game. It's not one or the other. It's somewhere in between. And that has created like this super crazy fun experience for me. And I don't know. Uh, do you like the changes they made to the to the gameplay field, Trout? Yeah, I think it's smooth as shit. I haven't noticed anything. Man, it is bad, so <laughs> it, it is so fluid and the chairs breaking and just the way the table breaks. Yeah, the table breaks too. Like <laughs> the marks on the body after a long match. Yes, the the markings. And, little, you know. Guys, like it's not a ten out of ten. I could honestly tell you that within this first impression video that it's not a ten out of ten. But it's it's definitely not a six or a seven in my opinion. I think it's gonna be end up being either an eight, eight point five, or a nine. It's going to flirt with those three scores for me because at this point, I've already, again, played the game for over 15 hours. And mm -hmm. I, I did say time will tell which mode I'll play more, but I just feel like I have so many options, whether it's my rise, right, where I go ahead and, and do different personas for, for the male or female uh, characters. You know, they got two different stories there. Whether it's universe mode where I got this sandbox experience or just superstar mode where I get to control one person like if it's a my career and I get to keep track of the record. My GM mode, the drafting, like Trout said, is is just so much fun that how can you not, you know, at least play it every now and then, right? Exactly. Even, even with it being bare bones. 
it's still fun. Mm-hmm. So when you add all that, throw it in the pot of soup, and you go ahead and, and play online with your friends as well, I'm going to have a blast with 2K22, and it's probably going to be my most played wrestling game since WWE 2K16 because I played the hell out of that one. And I remember playing 2K17 quite a bit too, but I don't know, with uh, 2K18 and um, 19, even though those games were really, really good, I still never captured that SVR feel from those games, and I never really moved past 2K16. You know what I mean? I feel like 2K16 was my favorite, especially because of the Stone Cold Showcase and the combination of, like, good graphics for its time and and good gameplay as well. Um, 2K14 was good, too. But I think that 2K22, with it being the best-looking wrestling game ever, with one of the most consistent gameplay uh, feelings that I've ever felt in terms of a WWE game, and you Mm -hmm. add all... All the modes that we got with it. I mean, we didn't even talk about my it's faction. A big <laughs> we didn't even talk about my faction, Trout. Oh, I know. Did you realize that? <laughs> no. <laughs> exactly. And that's how deep this game is. I'm a big my faction guy. Big time. I know that you guys are going to be like, oh, but that's where all the microtransactions are. And I get it. But, you know, with the free packs that I got, right? And the my faction points that I'm going to end up saving and ripping some little cheap packs here and there. That plus the grinding for some cards and challenges, that's fine by me. That's honestly fine by me. I don't... You always like to grind your stuff for yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm the grinder type. I don't like playing these type of modes online budget because... <laughs> exactly, because I'm a budget baller, bro. Imagine, you know, you'll probably be going up against The Rock on day one if you rip open packs with money and shit. <laughs> So, yeah, <laughs> I'm just a happy camper right now. What can I say? I'm a big old WWE 2K22 nerd. <laughs> and and uh, Straight Edge hit me up telling me that some people were getting death threats and everything for liking the game. If you guys don't like the game, stop trying to bring that Debbie Downer vibe to other people, all right? Stop that shit. This game doesn't have to be a 10 out of 10 to be fun to play. Calm down, there's always, relax. There's always going to be people that absolutely love it, and there's always going to be people that exactly. despise it. Exactly. So let people have their own opinion. If you guys don't agree with half of the shit that I said, then I'm fine with that. It's okay, but let's just enjoy wrestling in general. We got AW, mm-hmm. WWE, Wrestle Code, uh, I think it's called. That's coming out too. Like, There's just so much wrestling content on, on TV and in video yep. games that we're going to be getting going forward that how can you not be excited? Yep. So that's the way I look at it, at least. So take everything we said with a grain of salt, you know, do the little salt bay, take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> Don't mind us. We're just some casual WWE 2K gamers having fun. I'll see you guys hey, on the next you. one. I hope you guys stuck around this long and you subscribe to the channel because we got tons of streams and videos coming. Drop a like if you haven't already. And we're going to revisit this game uh, on stream. Obviously, we're going to keep playing it. But we're going to revisit this game. And we're going to really give you guys a nice review. Uh, maybe by the end by the end of the week, you know, I got to capture more footage and it get more time more in modes. it. Exactly. We'll, we'll give you guys our official score. But for me, I think the game is flirting with an 8, 8.5, maybe a 9. It's just, it, it gives me that vibe. Maybe it goes below or high. I don't know. But for now, that's that's the ballpark where I'm at. What about for you, Trout? If you had to pick like three different ratings that you had to pick in between right now, would you say that it's as low as a seven or like where would you put, you know, kind of like the the meter? Uh, I, w- I would put it since I've like this is saying because I've only played GM mode and tutorial in, the, in one match. But uh, yeah, I would say between seven to eight just for that. Just just even for that little bit of gameplay I've played. So you don't think so, it's going to go beyond an eight? You don't think it could reach a nine no, in no. your book? No, I'm saying that once I play all the modes, yeah. It's oh, I get you that. I got you. So you're already saying that based on what you've played. Yes. Like if you pl- like if you played nothing else and this is all you played, you could give this yes. a seven or an eight. Wow. Yes. yes. All right. All right. That's so how much I'm, I'm enjoying it. I could tell. And that, I, lo- I love this shit. <laughs> I know. I know. You do. You do for sure. Yeah. 
So again, uh, we'll we'll revisit this conversation. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be higher once I play other moves. Like ah, I, I think so too. If if you're giving this a seven or an eight, just based <laughs> off of that, I, I'm I can't wait for you to continue playing and let, let us know what you have to say. <laughs> so guys, do. give give us your score in the comments section. We'll see you around. Trout, thank you for being part of the video. I'll see y'all later. Let's go. Peace.